My name's Billy Hume. I'm a producer and mixer and guitar player based out of Atlanta. I uh, kind of got my start in rap music in Atlanta working with Little John. I recorded most of his first album that had Bia Bia, Put Your Hood Up, I Like Them Girls on it. I get a lot of calls from people asking me how I record things because I've been doing this since the 70s. I started recording bands back in 1979. So I have a lot of knowledge, a lot of expertise, and I get calls all the time. So I just thought, well, make things a little bit easier and I'll just put it on tape. Another reason I want to do this tape is to prove to people and really show who played guitar on Party Like a Rockstar because I've run into people several times at different studios who are claiming that somebody else played guitar on Party Like a Rockstar. That was me. We start with the guitar. Now, we've got a lot of guitars here in the studio. On those songs in particular, I played a Heritage guitar. The Heritage guitar is uh, basically more of a Gibson than a real Gibson guitar. It's manufactured in the old Gibson factory with all the same machinery made by the same people who made all the classic Gibson guitars. This one's modified with a classic 57 pickup. It's got a high output, very hot. The guitar on that song in particular was recorded through an orange amplifier. And if you look right over here, you'll see the head. This is an orange rocker verb 50. But as you can see, one of the best things you can do with a guitar amp is just freaking turn the thing up. A lot of people today think you can just take your guitar and freaking plug it into a pod or amp farm. Let me tell you something, there's no replacing these tubes and the circuitry in these things. Using an amp farm, the pod, all right, it's a little one dimensional. You wanna get a real guitar sound? This is how you do it. Start with a good guitar, well, start with a good guitar player is the first thing, then a good guitar, good amps, good microphones, and you can't replace that stuff. It's irreplaceable. So what we do is we have, I keep the head in the control room so I can control everything the right way. I use really high quality monster cable right here. This is really super thick cable. Um, run it here into the uh, sound room. This is the cabinet we use, it's a 212. And uh, we just, I just mic'd one of the speakers with a 57, a Shure 57. And I'll tell you something, a lot of people when they, when they mic guitar amps, they just grab some 57 and they put up in front of the speaker. Which, what they don't realize is that all of these 57s sound very different. Even though they look the same, one of the things I'll do sometimes is set up several microphones on the same amplifier and just A-B them. And you'd be surprised how different these mics can sound. They can sound almost like different, different uh amplifiers. This particular song, Party Like a Rockstar, was uh, done with a particular 57. When I get a good sound, I literally take a Sharpie and write on here. And I actually have this one labeled as Mike Hartnett Solo. You can't really see it. And I could show it. It's just so dim, but I know which one it is. That particular 57 is a Magic 57. As a matter of fact, I used it not only on Party Like a Rockstar, but also Montana's do the rock man which also played all the guitar parts on that sometimes besides just miking the front of the amp we'll have some special secret microphones and here at the zone we, we've got a couple of odd ones that people think are kind of funny but we've found that they work well up here we've got an AKG 414 we call it the skull mic it's in this cow skull just has got its own kind of particular creepy sound to it that works and uh, another secret that I've never really shown any before anyone for is the uh, the helmet microphone so out here in front of the amplifiers, the sound actually goes into the helmet and bounces back into this microphone. This is a very old Sennheiser 441. I've had this thing over 20 years. Come on in here and I'll show you how we process the mic sound. Now we've got a lot of different mic pre's that we use here. This is just a few of them. I got some of the other mic pre's are up in my B room and my C room because this whole house is turned into a studio. Um, but on Party Like a Rockstar and Do the Rock Man in particular, I use an API 512C. This is a great mic pre. That mic pre ran into a 550B four band parametric EQ. And uh, from there, we ran into this distressor right here. The distressor is a compressor. This is one of the most amazing compressors around. Now for most of these guitar parts, I will set it at a four to one ratio. I'll have a long attack and a really fast release. And then from here, I set my levels to tape. From here, it goes into Pro Tools. And as you can see right here, here's the session. And for any of you wondering whether or not I really played guitar on this song, because there's been a lot of people claiming they played guitar on Party Like a Rockstar, how many of you have the actual Pro Tools session? 
I got it right here. <laughs> So there we are. That's how I did Party Like a Rock Star and Do the Rock Man. And for the record, it was produced by Jason Pittman. Mike Hartnett played guitar on the remix. Anybody out there claiming they played guitar on this song, if it ain't me and it didn't Mike Hartnett, you're full of shit. You didn't play guitar on this song. I did it. I'd like y'all to come back sometime, check out other videos. We're going to have more videos about how we record things here at The Zone.